Toxins going up. Down. Oh, bro, you're you're a nerd. I'm done. One enemy remaining. Hello? I'm fucking sicko, dude. What the fuck is that? Yo, have you ever heard of my man Jin's lead on That's YouTube? Nasty. That's shit. actually fucking nasty. Hey, I got a crazy video for you guys today. I have over 30 different unique Viper ults all with their own gimmick designed for you to 1v5 on any round regardless of your economy. All of these ults come with their own molly lineup, and most of these ults you won't have seen before since I made them all on my own through countless hours and customs. I'm going to be giving all of these ults 3 ratings to gauge their overall efficiency. Rating 1 will be its strength, what I think the chances of you winning a 1v4 is with your team buying a little bit of time and you having 2 mollies. Rating 2 will be the ease of setup, how easily can you do your ult, maybe you need an orb or a wall. Rating 3 will be the average of the two other ratings, giving you an overall score. I'm always innovating new ideas, so if you like the video, please give this a like. I'm going to make this video as short as possible so I don't waste any of your guys' time. Alright, so first up is Ascent. Uh, you want to go into your orb over here for heaven, and then you want to come to the sledge, look down until the green circle shows up on the left and you can crouch your way to the right into this little cubby right here. This ult is very low and this is what I call a one-way crouch ult. I suggest letting enemies pass and playing trigger patience while your teammate over on dice can actually look at their feet off of your information and shoot them. For the molly, look at the bottom of this cannon anywhere on the right side of heaven and it'll land on default. For our second ult, you want to stand in this corner by the wood box and look towards concrete. With this ult, you can run into wine and have your teammates play a main, and you can hide in this little cubby. For the lineup, you can scooch out of your ult and come into this corner by the barrel, look into the sky in this corner of the wall, and the molly will look like this. If you want to try to catch your enemies off guard, I suggest trying to run mid after you shoot your second molly. Your ult will end as you get to a round tree. Alt number 3 I use a lot if I come from mid. Come to the square and look towards site. You want to plant the bomb towards default. Close the door if you have an Odin or an Ares. You can go onto cat and do your lineups for free. For this lineup you want to use the right side of your right HUD and aim it towards the bottom of this gray section. Walk back into your ult, recharge, and then molly again. When your mollies run out just ping and spam to the left of the door. Ascent V site. You want to stand in this corner and then look towards the top of the water bottle in the opposite corner. This ult will give you a tiny little cubby in the back of the box right here. And this one's funny because even if an enemy accidentally kisses you, she won't be able to see you because she's fully blind. For your mollies, I suggest looking down if you have 53 HP. You'll live with 1 HP. You can do this twice if you have 105 HP. If you don't have 53 HP, you can look at this corner and a little bit to the right or above it and the molly will land like so. When they tap the bomb, you can wait 2.5 seconds and then start shooting anywhere from this left triangle all the way to the right triangle, and they still might not know where you are. For our second ult, you want to stand in this corner and look at this box. And you can actually use this to loop around to Boathouse. When you go here, you want to be aware of your barrel. You want to crouch under here and then you can squeeze yourself over into this area, you can wallbang the bomb if they tap. But the beauty of this ult is after you hear them run into sight, you can loop around to lane, and you can just molly the top of lane. This will give our first invisible-ish molly. Wallbang from anywhere after. Our last ult on ascent, you want to come to this square brick over here, and then look towards the middle of this window. This ult will create a small cubby in CT, which you need to use your orbs to safely get in. A lot of these orb and wall setups I use anyways to take sight. I will be making a video on those a week or two after this video comes out. For the molly lineup, you want to use the top of your smoke icon and there's a little dark spike in the metal portion of the top barrel. Alright, bind A. You want to go into U-Haul? And then look at the right edge of this black line on their sort of flank. This ult will make a little cubby right over here. 
You do want a wall or an orb to help cover you get into this little pocket. For the molly lineup, you want to look above the truck corner over here but below the alt line. The molly will look like this. After your mollies run out, I suggest you loop around to truck with your orb so that you can either supeek or hide. Alt number 2 on A. You want to come into this corner by bench and look straight into the wall. And this will be for Shower's Plant. You can come into this little cubby right here. You want to scooch over to the right a little bit. And for the molly, you want to aim at the middle of this black rectangle and a little bit to the right so it doesn't hit the wall. This is how the molly looks. And this all is nice because when you try to defuse the bomb, you're fully blind except for when you're in this tiny corner right here. Bind B. This plant is going to be for hookah. You want to stand in this corner and look at this black rectangle in two. And this alt will make a little gap on the other side of the tube. You'd think that this spot is very visible, but the enemy can actually not see you at all unless they're right above you or pushing it into your face. For the lineups, you can choose one of two options. Option one is to look halfway in between this diagonal line and hit it off of the hookah wall. Option two is to stand up for a quick second, look above the heart, and make sure the middle of your crosshair is not on the metal but in the gas. The mollies will look like this. Here's another one for the same plant spot on B site. You want to come into this corner and look at this rough patch of ground over here. This alt will give you a little triangle and back site for you to play in. And when you go in for your mall, you want to look at the bottom of this trapezoid over here, and then you just want to aim to the right a bit. This molly will bounce off the wall and hit hookah plant. And when you come out, I suggest you swing to the right since no one's going to be behind you anyways. You could also wall bank this if you wanted to. Next up is planted for hookah. This is going to be a very similar alt. You want to line yourself up with the side of tube and then aim at this weird blue brick over here. Thank you to Shao in my YouTube chat for finding this one for me. With this alt, you'll have the same cubby as you did in the last alt. And this time you'll want to look at the bottom of the trapezoid again, but you want to use this line over here to make a makeshift V going this way. And fire at the right end of the V. The molly will bounce and man like this. Now onto Bree's A site. You want to stand at the dot left of this band, and the bomb is going to be planted for the left pyramid. In order to get into this cubby, you are going to need to make some noise, so maybe you want to shoot to mess the sound. And for the molly, all you have to do is aim at the middle of this metal part in the dark gray area. Molly will land like this. And once again, we have a beautiful wall being this way. Another one on A, you want to come into this corner and look at the dot in the opposite corner. This ult will make a little loop around to the center of cleavage where you can crouch jump onto this area right here, into the middle of this section. The cubby looks like this. And for the molly, you want to use the right side of your left HUD. Aim it halfway in between this lime green part. It will land like this. So, now onto B site. This is going to be planted for the new default. You want to come back here and then look at this hourglass. And then you want to jump and aim towards the tunnel. There's going to be a little cubby right back here and maybe you want to use a wall to help you get here safer. Be careful, this cubby is not in a corner, it's a triangle made from this concrete slab. And you just want to center yourself up with this black line. For the molly, you want to use the left side of your right HUD and just put it into the center of the slanted line. The molly will look like this. This next one is a good one if you came from mid. You want to go into this corner and aim at the bottom of that trapezoid. This will create like a small alleyway behind you that you can go in. This is going to be one of the few alts you actually stand up in and you want to go to the right of these two white bricks, this oval brick over here. For the molly, you're going to want to look to the left of these two white bricks and align the right side of your right HUD with the bottom right of this dark brick. So it is going to look like so. And it will land like this. Brr. We are now on Fracture A. For this alt, you're going to want to go onto this corner in the staircase and look at the brown box. 
This isn't really a hiding spot, but your molly will stop people from pushing stairs as well as stop them from defusing at the same time. For the lineup, there's a dark dot where I'm looking right now, and you want to just look to the left of it. Once again, it lands like this. And when your second molly runs out, I actually suggest that you run away because they know where you are. Your ult's going to stay up for another 12 seconds as they're one shot and spammable. Ult number 2 is going to be from drop. You want to come to the second full rectangle and come down a little bit on the metal portion. And then you want to look in the middle of this yellow uh, sign. And this ult's really simple. All you do is come back into this corner over here. Your lineup is going to use the left side of your left HUD and you put it on the top left uh, circle right here. And the molly will land like this. So you want to molly, recharge, and molly again. Now we're finally on B site. You want to come into this corner and aim at the top of this brown triangle. This alt will give you a small cubby on the other side of green box over here. For the small you're going to have to stand up when you shoot it. You want to align the top of your left HUD with this line right here. So it's going to look like this. This will give you how left or right you look. And now you just want to aim your crosshair up until there's a tiny green gap in between your crosshair and the box. Try this out in your own custom game just to make sure it works for you. To stay hidden, you can crouch and then uncrouch. Or you can look down and then look up. This is how the molly lands afterwards. And this is a nice wall bang. Before I made all the other alt spots, you saw me use this alt a lot. You want to come into tower and look at the corner in the far side over here. And then this will be planted for right under you. There's no real hiding spot, but the orb and molly are super strong. For this molly, all you want to do is look at this white circle and the doorway. And this orb and molly will cover tower, site, and staircase. The enemy will think that they can defuse the bomb, but there's actually an invisible molly corner. If they tap the bomb, they just insta-die because it's in the middle of the ult. When you're out of mollies, just put up your orb and kill the diffuser. Haven A site. You want to plant the bomb over here, and then you want to come over to the middle of this V in the middle of the box, and aim towards the middle section of this box over here. I like to look at the small triangle. This ult will make a tiny pocket behind the default box for you to stand in. Now I like to go to this belt, but you can go anywhere back here. For the mollies, you want to ping these two corners in heaven. And then with your crosshair, you want to make a right triangle and aim at the right angle in your triangle. I actually wanted to explain this molly because there is a reason to why I'm doing it like this. It does work anywhere backside just based on how the mechanics work. And also, if you did find a spot in heaven to ping, it's inaccurate and the ping would just drop to hell. The mollies will end up looking like this. Our second ult on A is going to be nice if you came from mid. You want to come into this corner and look at these two tiny bricks over here by the doorway. And this ult you can use to get into heaven. It just loops around like this. And when you get up here you can leave your ult and you can aim your crosshair at the right bottom corner of this window. Make sure your crosshair is on the brown otherwise it might miss. Go back into your ult and recharge while you will look like this. As if this video is not toxic enough, here is a toxic wallbang. You can wallbang the square over here if they are defusing after your molly runs out. It will hit pretty much everything to the right over here except for maybe this deep corner. Most people wouldn't defuse here anyway since they're gonna try to bait and swing to the right to try to kill you. Watch out, if they have numbers they'll still try to push your ult. Big shout out to Shao in my YouTube chat for finding these next two alt spots. For this one you want to go on top of this belt here and then look at the left side of this black area on that belt buckle over there. And this alt makes a nice little cubby behind this L box. When you enter this cubby you're gonna want to look for this swoosh over here. And for your molly you're gonna want to put the A in your A site under the top right of the swoosh. The molly will look like this. This beal is quite cunning. You want to come into this corner and aim at this yellow rectangle that's most to the right. When you ult, there's going to be a tiny pocket on the right side of this default box. And the cubby is shaped so weirdly that no one's ever going to think that you're in here. It is just big enough to fit you. For your mollies, you just want to sneak left a little bit and aim at the top left of this metal plate. And the resulting molly will look like this. This one, this plant spot is a little bit weird, you want to come into this corner and look diagonal. 
And then you're gonna have to use your orb to safely get into this little cubby in C-Link. When you're inside, you just want to scooch a tiny bit to the right. For the lineup, you want to go left of this black line and just put your crosshair in the green. It will look like this. On the C site, this is a really good alt regardless of the hiding spot. Come to the middle here between the green and the tall box, and you want to aim at the right side of this dark grip. This alt covers garage really well, and you can hide yourself in this cubby right here, maybe play an off angle on this step. And I would play information and trigger patience here. Once you know all of the enemy's locations, you can go for a flank through window. And this is nice because you can actually loop around to CT and keep your ults up. This is a sick rotation ult, but you can also do a rotation lineup. When you hear them in your ult, molly the spike, and then you can loop around here, go through window, and do your lineup in this corner over here. You can do this all while walking and still make it back into your ult CT side. Because of the way your ult is shaped, the enemies know you can't loop around the default box, but they don't know that you can loop around CT. Instead of peeking the diffuser when they tap, you can come up to logs and then you can wallbang this box. Here. Last ult on Haven, you want to come into this cubby right here, look at the end of that belt, and then take a small tiny step forward so you're not touching the, the default box. And this will make a tiny cubby in the back of default box right over here. I like to line myself up with this belt. For the lineup, there's a little V your alt makes at the top over here. You just want to aim a little bit below the V. And onto ice box. You want to come under rafters right here and then aim into the opposite corner. This alt is going to give you a little cubby near your default plant spot. And you can actually molly two things here. You can molly the rope on the other side of this area, and you can also molly Jenny. Using the left side of your right HUD, you want to look at this diagonal line where it meets the Stark line, and the molly will look like so. Next we're gonna do the bomb plant for Jenny right there. Go into your corner, and then you can just look at the top left of this box. Note, nice cozy wall bait. This is one of my oldest and most popular rat pits. You stand on 410 and you look above the green box. And then you just chill on this corner right here. If you stand too far away from the green box, you will get this hole sometimes, but that's not an issue. For more protection, put up this orb and watch out for people zipping on the zip line. There's no lineup since the small is really easy. Our last all on A-Slate is going to be right here. You want to look at the second line. And this ult will give you a nice little alleyway to screens. I can't do mollies in this alley, but I can bounce the molly off of 410 or do lineups over here in the corner of screens. For this lineup, you want to look in the middle of this first long rectangle. You'd want to do this after you know the enemy team is on site. The mollies will land on top of this truck, since it is possible to defuse without getting hit. Most people don't know this though. Once again, instead of peeking sight, wallbang. This B sight ult is very good. Line yourself up in the middle of this orange box and look at the light gray portion of this wall. When you ult, this ult will make it so that the enemies have to push through your ult in order to get to yellow. When your ult deploys, you're gonna wanna follow it in order to check this corner really easily. And then you wanna activate your one way and you can get up to top taco right here and enter this crouch ult. I will show you guys my orb lineup since I usually wouldn't do this unless I had my ult. You want to use the dot of your molly icon and line it up with this black dot left of the crane and jump throw. This spot is really OP, you want to stand in the middle of this rectangle, it is a little bit precise. You're a little bit too high for the enemy to see through the gap here but they wouldn't be looking anyways, you might see their head though. For the molly you're gonna want to use the top of your right HUD and align it with the second white line from the right. And the molly will land like this. Occasionally, a tiny part of your head is gonna pop out of the ult, but no one can see it anyways. Unless they're right here, so watch out. And yeah, with this you can wallbang too. This last ult on Icebox is quite infamous, but hard to set up unless you came from Kitchen. You wanna plant the bomb over here, I'd suggest planting after you get the ult down. Better yet, have a teammate plant there after you get your ult down. Your ult is going to look like this and give you orange and hallway control. 
When going through halls, I suggest hugging the left wall and looking down to see a bit further. When you get to kitchen, you can hide yourself in this left cubby right here until they get onto site. Once the enemies have more control of sight, you can come into this corner and do lineups. You want to use the right side of your enemy team UI and then line it up with this corner and look a tiny bit up. The molly will look like this. When you're out of mollies, I suggest you come out to orange instead of going through hallway. It's okay if your team plants it for default too because you can use your ult to get into this corner on hut over here and then you can line up this letter Q with this slanted grey portion and the molly will land default. Finally, we're on our last map split. You want to come into this corner over here, and then aim at this black line. Don't get in my way. This alt will give you a little pocket around elbow. With this little cubby, you can actually see who enters elbow without them being able to see you. Same thing goes for the right side. For your mollies, you want to stand next to these triangles over here, and then look halfway in between this and this line. Aim it a little bit to the right. Here is the molly. Now on to B. You want to stand by this barrel and aim at the door. Shout out to Toxicist in my YouTube chat for actually finding this ult. You can use this ult to loop around to CT and play in this little alleyway. This ult also has the most broken visibility ult glitch I've ever seen. We're just gonna ignore this exists and pretend like we never saw it. For your mollies, I actually suggest you shoot the molly on the bomb for your first one and then fall back to CT so you can do lineups in this corner over here. This will make it so they cannot get half. For the lineup, you want to use the left tip of your right HUD and put it on the left side of this lamp. It will land like this. Since it's planted for B main, I suggest you come onto rafters here, and you can just shoot the diffuser. If it's planted safe, molly's safe, and then you can fall back again. Use the left tip of your right HUD and aim it at the corner of the sky. Congrats on making it to the end, that's all I have for you. This video is an absolute nightmare to edit, and just finding all of the alts and mollies took countless hours. So please help blow this video up, if you enjoyed the video please give it a like, comment what your favorite alt was, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see you guys.